So I got home from work today and our shutters were closed in the uh, office and I had what I would amount to a, uh, a major infestation of flies, 20 or 25 flies. I think this is the last remaining one. I forgot to turn my racket on last time. They're really, oh shoot, <laughs> they're really kind of lethargic, which is strange, but I killed all of those with the zapper. And uh, I think I've got one left. Let me try to get him real quick. I think I finally located him. This Zap It brand on Amazon, two pack, the uh, large size does a really good job of uh, slaughtering these things. Oh, look, there's another one. So anyway, there's one testimonial. What I'm going to try is, since all these flies, well, and you see inside my trash, did you? So anyway, it kind of surprised me that all these flies were pretty much stuck inside of uh, this shutter, this shutter, and then these closed shutters on the front of the house. And again, 20, 25 flies or so um, is what I've killed in the last half hour since I got home. So what I think is going on is there's... Um, the screen on the outside of these, these windows, right? It looks like it's tight down here. But you have the weep holes right here that do lead to the outside. So if you'll notice, on some of your windows, there will be a gap right up alongside that screen on the outside. I noticed this when I walked outside. So I think is what's going on is they're they're walking in through the gap on the outside, the upper uh, edge of the outside. They're coming down into this uh, the window screen uh, on the inside, and then I I think they're just simply migrating up once they climb in either through here, uh, through the there, through here. And they're just simply walking up through this channel. I can't really show it on video, but they walk up through that channel. And they just pop out the top side of it. Um, there's a big gap that goes all the way down uh, through there. And uh, that's why I think that they showed up. It's kind of harvested inside here with this thing closed. It was very hot inside there all day um, with those closed. Shoot, it's, it had to be over 100 degrees inside that blind area. So they're really lethargic. Uh, when I opened that, they didn't want to um, to buzz around too much or easy kill. So what I'm going to do is I'll take uh, some black lawn and leaf bags. Uh, I'm going to seal them up around this whole thing on the inside of the house. So there's no possible way that if a fly comes in from the outside through those window uh, cracks and crevices tomorrow, uh, no possible way that they'll be able to get in the house. Then when I uh, come home from work later, I should be able to rip off this uh, the tape that I secure this to the window with and I should have flies inside of there if that is how they're coming in the house. I'm also going to take some apple cider vinegar in a, um, in a red solo cup and I'm going to leave it on the inside edge inside there. Uh, on, I'll, I'll do apple cider vinegar in one and I won't do apple cider vinegar in the other and uh, see if that makes any kind of a difference. Um, they're supposed to be attracted to that smell. Uh, so we'll we'll give that a shot, and I will definitely upload the uh, results of this. Okay, so before I close this one up, I've got a zero live or dead fly population in this one for the night. I'm just gonna button it up tight and then I'm going to seal this black uh, plastic trash bag uh, around this entire frame, this exterior frame on these shutters and uh, that should uh, give us a pretty decent test if, if these guys are leaking in through the, uh, the outside anyway. Almost forgot, add like uh, about a, almost a cup of apple cider vinegar inside of here also in this right side one. 
before we seal it up. And then I won't put any apple cider vinegar in that left one just so you can see which one's drawing them in. Okay, so here's the final product uh, for the test. Basically it's just painter's tape all the way around. This uh, exterior frame of this uh, shutter and uh, this one has the what do you call it stuff the apple cider vinegar in it and I'll do the other one uh, I'm gonna just cut this video short though so I'll put that one on there and tomorrow when I open these up we'll see what the uh, the net result is okay so that's the uh, finished product here uh, till tomorrow uh, no apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, we'll see what happens.